me today on Stacy's Country Cooking. Today I'm gonna be making campfire chili. We are going camping today. So I'm gonna be prepping my veggies before I leave the house and also my chili seasoning. That way it just makes it easier for when I get to the campsite. I hope you enjoy this chili recipe for campfire Start off, chili. I'm gonna be using some chili powder. About a quarter of a cup of chili powder. I'm gonna add everything to a bowl and then mix it together. And about a quarter cup of minced onions. I like to make my own seasonings. It's gluten free. Some of the packages that you get, it has flour in there. So the gluten free people, they can't have that. So if I make my own, then they can. About a tablespoon of black pepper. Okay. I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of garlic powder. This makes a lot. You only use like two to three tablespoons per pound of meat that you, but I just like to make a, a lot ahead of time and store it in a jar. So that was onion powder and now a quarter of a cup of garlic powder. Okay, paprika. I'm gonna use about three tablespoons of paprika. Okay, cumin. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of cumin. I'm not gonna add any salt to this mixture. I'll add the salt as I'm cooking the chili. That way I can control the salt. And you just mix everything together. You could also use this for taco seasoning. You can always add a little red bell pepper flakes or any kind of like cayenne pepper or anything like that to make it hotter. Okay, it's all mixed up and I got my jar, my cup, I'm gonna fill it up. That way this will be ready to take to the campsite. I store it in my jar. I'll have some for the campsite and then I'll have some for home what it's supposed to look like. Okay, now I'm gonna be prepping my veggies. So I'm gonna do my onion. I'm just gonna slice it into little dices. So excited about going camping. I just love camping. It's a good way to get away from everything and just enjoy the nature. It's so pretty outside. Okay. Got the onions ready. Now I've got my celery. Usually onions don't bother me, but these are making me cry a little. I don't know, there must be different kinds than what I'm used to buying. I 
watch your fingers. Celery makes this chili taste so good. It just gives it a unique flavor. I try to chop it up pretty small. That way people don't really know what's in there. Okay. And then I also, I use a whole green bell pepper. Some people think my chili kind of tastes like Wendy's chili. If you like Wendy's chili, I don't know. To me, I don't think it does, but I've had people tell me that. I like my chili a little chunky. I like the pieces. Except for my celery. I don't really want it to show up, but like my onions and my peppers. Okay, I got my veggies cut up. Now I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag. I'll have all this ready and that way when I get my meat cooked, I can add my seasonings and then start adding the veggies cooked and cook them till they're tender. And then I'll start adding all my chili beans and all that to it. Okay. That's what it looks like. Get it all fixed up. Okay, now I've got garlic. Mash it. Skin just pops right off. This one's got a little green thing. I'm gonna get it out. So I don't think it tastes very good. Cut it to it. Okay, get that out. Now I'm gonna chop my garlic up. Another green. My garlic kind of diced up really fine. Okay, I've got these little plastic cups. It's got a lid on it, so I'm gonna put my garlic in that to take down to the campsite. Okay, about got everything ready to take. I've got my prepped veggies. I got my garlic all chopped up. And I got my chili seasoning. I got it all ready. Now I just take it whenever I get to the campsite and get my hamburger fixed, I'll show you what to do. Thank you. Okay, now I'm at the campsite. And here is my cooker over my open campfire. I'm gonna check to see if the kettle's hot. Yes, I see steam coming from it. So I'm gonna add my hamburger meat. Again, I'm using the lean hamburger meat. 
so it won't have any grease come off of it. And it's sizzling. It means my kettle's hot. I'm gonna use two pounds. Okay, I'm gonna check on my hamburger meat again. some of my chili seasoning that I had made earlier. I'm just going to guess at it. I probably used about, I used about that much of the jar. For all that around, Okay, after you add the seasoning, you let it cook for a little bit with the seasoning on there. Now it's time to add my chopped veggies that I fixed earlier, which is onions, green bell peppers, and celery. I'll just dump them all in there. to add my garlic that I have prepared, the chopped garlic. And I'm also at this time going to add three tablespoons of sugar. Just going to let that kind of mingle a little bit. Then I'm gonna start adding all of my beans and my tomato stuff. I have some chili magic. I'm gonna use a can of that. I'm gonna add a can of crushed tomatoes. a can of petite dice with green chilies. I use these for a lot of things. And then I found these. It's mixed chili beans with dark red kidney beans, pinto beans, and black beans. So I'm going to try them today. I usually put kidney beans, so... This is some freshly canned tomato juice that my mother-in-law fixed. 
and she's let me use it today. Okay, I'm just gonna stir it and then I'm gonna let it simmer. Then I'll taste it and see if it needs any more seasoning or any salt and pepper. the simmer at least like three or four hours. Okay, the chili has been cooking for a couple of hours. So now I'm going to look at it. Oh, yeah. The bubbling. I want to taste it and see if it needs anything else. It looks yummy. Yes, it needs some more seasoning. Okay, I tasted it and it needs a little bit more seasoning, so I'm gonna sprinkle some more in. And then add some salt. And stir it. I'm going to continue cooking and then I will taste it again to see if it needs anything else. Okay, it's time to check the chili again. It's been cooking for about another hour. I'm gonna retaste it and see if it needs anything else. It looks pretty good. I think it's about ready. Oh yeah, it's yummy. So I'll serve this up. I'm gonna to top it with cheese and diced green onions. Thank you so much for watching this channel today. I hope you enjoy this recipe, Campfire Chili. Thank you.